Hi guys, it's Karina from Rage Breed. I uh, just wanted to chat to you um, a little bit about what's been going on Rage Breed wise and uh, you know what what things have happened. Uh, so, just wanted to talk to you about our radio. So you can actually listen to um, our radio podcasts by going to www.ragebreed.biz. You can download the Podbean uh, podcast um, app, I think it is, where you can listen as well. But you can actually just scroll down and listen on there as well. So, you know, we've, def we've got the Rage Breed uh, radio side of things up and running, basically, which is really good. So, um, very happy about that. Um, so there's that and then also Rage Breed Magazine, uh, so we've got some killer bands for you too, seriously, um, you know, you guys can check that out on my profile, I posted about that and um, yeah, we've got some great bands when I mean, you're talking bands such as Onslaught, um, we've got Dave from Benediction again about his new project, um, Studio in Dark, I think it's called Studio in Dark. And um, we've got Old Corpse Road, we've got uh, My Dying Bride, we've got an Al Nathrak, um, we've got some just brilliant bands for issue two. Issue one is also insanely good, so do go and buy a copy of that. You get two free compilations, the bands on there are killer. Um, on there we've got so many different types of bands and um, you know, I think you'll really enjoy it. So if you do want to buy issue one with the two free compilations, go to www.ragebreed.bigcartel.com, go to the magazine section and issue one is available to buy there. Uh, it is absolutely badass, so please do uh, go and take a look. Um, it was redone, as you guys know, um, so yeah, it, it's really killer, it's really good. So issue two, um, so I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about issue two. So, um, last year I was in hospital with gastritis due to stress and um, it was really, really horrific. It was really bad and um, it was down to stress. I, high blood pressure went up to 200 and it was basically because of the harassment that I was getting uh, from a certain individual uh, and it did go to the police and you know it was pretty fucking horrific and um, you know there's 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 so many different things but I'm not going to go into it but basically in a nutshell um, I've been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder um, and it's a combination of things um, from my past. Um, so what tends to happen is most of the time I'm okay, but there can be like a slight trigger which sends me into anxiety and panic attacks. Now, the stigma that I've dealt with with mental health is unacceptable. You know, I think it's really awful that there's been such a lack of empathy and understanding in terms of that because when I'm in therapy, I have to do pretty much what my psychotherapist suggests, and um, and that's what I've been doing. Um, and it's not necessarily received well um, by other people, but at the end of the day, I need to put healthy boundaries in place for myself and my business towards abusive people, which is what I've been doing, you know. Um, it's not my role to fix other people, it's my role to make sure that my health and you know my business is being protected from difficult people you know um so to, to cut a long story short um the reason why there's been delays is for that reason also there's the second reason which is the main reason to be quite honest with you is that um when you're in we're a performance-based business which means that we have to fill up the compilations so we need to have the sales there and we have been understaffed we don't have enough sales staff um you know and that's why at the moment i'm recruiting for new staff um to do the sales side of things uh with corona happening it affects people so deeply you know you don't really understand just the level of how it has affected people 
So there needs to be some kind of empathy for my staff because there has been illness, there has been anxiety, there's been things that have gone wrong. Um, you know, but also on top of that, it does affect the, the music industry as well. So, you know, people aren't at work, so things aren't being done as quickly. You've also got issues, obviously, with, with pay because obviously some people are out of work in Corona. Um, so bands can't afford some of the stuff that we're doing. So, you know, and that and this is the reason why we offered the free interviews and free reviews for some of the bands. Um, but we still have to fill up the compilation. So, um, you know, it's that kind. Of, it's, it, it's that. That's why it takes longer because, you know, we can't release a magazine if we don't have the compilations there. You know, um, especially as we advertise ourselves as a two CD compilation um, magazine, and you know, our last magazine was, uh, you know, around 144 pages. So, you know, we need to have the content there, and we've got plenty of like sign bands on there and stuff. But we have to focus on sales over the next few weeks. So, um, if you are a band and you do want to be in the compilation. Uh, just drop me a message um, so go to ragebreed underscore magazines sorry ragebreed underscore magazine underscore submissions at hotmail.com put my name in the subject field and I will um, allocate you to an account manager so yeah so we're hoping for a release at the end of the month or the first week in May so that's what we're hoping um, so yeah, we, we are focusing on the sales for that. TV wise, uh, Rage Breed TV, we do have some things coming up with uh, the TV side of things called uh, In the Hot Seat, which is going to be quite fun. So basically, if you guys have any questions for Rage Breed Records artists, um, drop us an email with the uh, mess, well, with the question. It'll be. Um, and you think ragebreed underscore tv underscore submissions at hotmail.com and uh, just basically put in the hot seat in the um, subject field so we know which uh, show it's about so yeah you that's coming up soon so that'll be quite funny and quite you know quite good uh, some, some good content for our uh, youtube um, tv site um, label wise really chuffed with the new bands that we've signed so we've just signed incognito theory the album is being produced by none other than steve zing from danzig uh, they've got mike leopond as well um so you know in the band and everything they've just recently had uh, steve um ludwood i think his name is and he, he's basically in the in the band as well as a patent guitarist um, absolutely great band. The new single set off is just, it's been in my head for literally like the last few weeks. Uh, Rough and Rude, a new uh, sort of like a sleazy glam band, like classic hard rock kind of stuff. Really fucking good. You know, you're talking about the proper old school kind of vibe on that, and I absolutely adore it. So, it's such great music. And obviously, not forgetting Self Opposed Exile, quality progressive black death metal. Um, really, I mean, their Mountain Side EP is is so class, and I do recommend you buy that. You can actually buy that from www.ragebreed.bigcartel.com. Uh, they're going to be recording an album, and uh, we're looking at sorting out a tour and some events later on this year. Um, and then also, there's Ancient Sins, who have been uh, they've got a, a product app called Never Back Down, which is available digitally. Um, they're going to be releasing their album through Rage Breed Records as well. Uh, same with Mind Lapse and same with Lake of Dreams. So we've got Michael Cook who is in Mind Lapse and Jimmy Mitchell and at Lake of Dreams we've got um, uh, Jimmy Mitchell. We are looking for a bass player and drummer for Mind Lapse and we're looking for someone in either the um, West Virginia area or Ohio area in America because I'm going to be flying down there. Uh, before we go on tour, we're going to probably spend a month down there practicing and then going on tour and stuff. So, yeah, I will be going to the States at some point. Um, but, yeah, so we've, we've got some really cool stuff happening. Um, you know, we are uh, obviously going to be um, 
I do a lot more affiliate stuff. So you're gonna see me on a lot of uh, posters and stuff like that. Um, basically just getting the brand name out there and also my modeling side of things, that's a separate thing that I do. Um, if you wanna see what kinds of things I've done, um, you can go to www.freedashare.net uh, and you can subscribe to the uh, website. And also if you really do uh, enjoy what Rage we do, you can be put on our mailing list. You just need to go to the member website for Rage Breed, which is www.ragebreed.com. There's a forum there and there's a, you can set your own profile on there. You can advertise your gigs on there. You know, it's, it's, it's a really cool interactive website, uh, mainly for, it's a little bit more kind of down to earth. Uh, whereas Rage Breed Global, the www.ragebreed.biz is, is, is a little bit more about business savvy. And we wanted both because obviously we've got both sides to, to what we do, you know. Um, and then, uh, let me think, what else? Yeah, so if there's anything that you want to buy, the Rage Breed t-shirts have been, you know, been really good sales and we've been doing t-shirt swaps and all kinds of things. And so if you want to buy a t-shirt, it's www.ragebreed.bigcartel.com. Uh, there are other things that you can buy as well, so there's books, poetry books, art, jewellery, things like that. So if there is something that you want, just go head on down to there and uh, hopefully you'll find something that you like. So yeah, please do support us, you know. We, we really do um, value you guys who have supported us, our affiliates, our staff. Um, you know the staff are amazing i just want to shout out to them they've been so so strong you know um music business is so cutthroat and people are so ready to stamp all over your name and they've been so so supportive and loving and kind and we've got a wonderful staff group and i'm so proud of them i told them that today in group chat you know they're just they're so amazing and i love them to pieces uh, you know, for me, Rage Breed is a family. When you come on board to Rage Breed, you know, we become friends as far as I'm concerned. It's it's a very sort of like informal friendship kind of thing. And um, obviously we just get, get on with the business, but I want to know the people. I want to know the heart of who you are. So, you know, that's, that's the way we function. And, you know, even the bands that we have now on our, um, on, on our label, you know, feels like family already so and that's that's exactly what we want because I mean, for me that's what metal's all about metal's about family you know and um you know do check out like our other uh, sections of rage breed because we do so many different things very passionate about rage breed against bullying and uh rage breed mind body and spirit because you know there's so much of it going on at the moment and we just want to give a voice to targets of bullying um, of those who've been through domestic violence and gone through difficult things, we want to hear your story. You know, we want to make changes. It's such a cruel world, but we we want we want to hear what's happened, and you know, we want to we want to try and bring change. And by, and by that I mean making a more family safe space for metalheads. You know. Um, being kind, being, you know, do no harm, take no shit mentality, basically. Because, you know, at the same time, you need healthy boundaries towards abusive treatment. And um, it doesn't mean to say that you just completely say, you know, as soon as something goes wrong, you cancel it out, if that makes sense. It, it's really about, um, you know, understanding the difference between someone who's genuinely sorry when they've caused you harm to someone who is, you know, who is not sorry and will continue to cause you harm, and um, you know that's that's the reason for it. So, for me, it's like, you know, your story is important and your voice is important, and I want to make sure that people know that. And prejudices, sexism, racism, the things that I've gone through, you know, you will hear, hear my story in issue two, um, but. I still believe that there are people out there and that want to have a safe metal community and that's by being less judgmental, um, you know, and doing the right thing, you know, be, being, what's the word, um, 
I'm open-minded, but then there's also that side where, you know, if you keep treating people badly and it's a regular thing, or you're on the receiving end of someone shouting at you or something like that, that isn't on. And I think people that do that need to really think about how they treat people because that is so important. Um, you know, and if you do have issues with health and things like that, do I mean this is why we've got Rage Breed Mind, Body and Spirit and you know, we are gonna get some uh, voluntary uh, counsellors and life coaches on there as well, as, as well as myself, as I'm a qualified uh, life coach as well. So, yeah, so, so basically what we wanna do is help people and that's that's the underlying you know mission of what we do i mean rage breed really is about helping bands giving them opportunities um you know and we, we are always looking for more people to be on board with us so even if you want to be a moderator you know just inquire um you know we've got training set up we'll be doing a lot more different things like courses a dating app we've got so much going on in the pipeline and um, I'm you know I'm so grateful for those who have been so supportive towards myself and my staff and everything that we do because we do it with such passion and care for the music and for the bands and uh, you know I can only really thank you guys for all your support keep on supporting Rage Breed keep on supporting our affiliates keep supporting my staff and their groups pages as well um you know my my belief is that if everyone rises together we create a beautiful metal community and that's what we want you know uh, and that's what we're about so yeah if you want to affiliate drop me a message and uh, i will look into adding you to our affiliate group you'll just have to download um a few things and fill out a form and then we'll get you registered um, I am looking at a completely new affiliate program as well so I'm looking into that at the moment um, so there are there are a lot of different things that's going to be changing uh, but for the better because I'm all about change management and making sure that you know whatever we do in Rage Breed is we can improve um, but massive thanks to everybody you know uh, for all your support, whether it's been anything that I've done, whether it's modelling, whether it's been, you know, recipes or it's been, um, you know, uh, my music with Mind Laps and Naked Dreams, whether it's been Rage Fest. Shout out to all the radio stations and the magazines. You know, you guys rock. Thank you so much. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, take it easy and I will see you soon and I hope you enjoy your week.